All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to be a dick to your girlfriend in the digital world because if you do it in real life, you get your chiclet slapped out of your mouth. It's be a man. Don't do the right thing, damn it. Be a man is a game that takes you through various relationship issues, such as asking a girl to marry you and defusing a bomb. Stuff that is totally legitimate in every single instance of interrelationship love. So you're supposed to go through and pick the right options and not piss the girl off. Okay, this game has a scene with Jack and Rose in it. I swear to God, if I can't throw her off of this plank, I'm gonna flip out. Be a man starts as all relationships should by walking with your girl. Am I wearing a Jason mask on my face or is that just another man's skin? I like how it's like, you're not the man. See, the problem was I was having a conversation with the girl and she was like, your skin's so soft. And I was like, that's not my skin. You don't want to go too fast now. Jason has to enjoy the <laughs> Even she's like, what the fuck was that? I don't know if y'all can see this, but every once in a while in the you're not the man scene, there's a part where the game attempts to give you epilepsy. There it is, right there. Where is my machete? I feel like I should be stabbing this girl. Did I win yet? I like how they hired only the best animators from DreamWorks in order to tell you you made the right choice. Hello, Kyle. The ride home. You know it's bad when your girlfriend looks this disinterested? Oh Christ, her face just changed. <laughs> Oh, the sound effect! There's a mouth-breathing woman in here, too! They hired some fantastic voice talent! <laughs> See, right here, before this girl's eyes bulged out of her skull, she was asking me why I wasn't helping her, and that's because I didn't want to get my wrist cut on her razor-like breasts. She would have been like, you would have been fine. No, these are isosceles triangles, okay? Okay, so I'm assuming you have to take the packages from your girlfriend. Never mind, I didn't know you were a noodly bastard that couldn't handle four packs of underwear. I don't think that she's mad because you weren't helping her. I think that she's mad because you struggled to carry 30 pounds worth of overpriced lingerie. If I take only one package, do I get to see the face again? Oh, the glory! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it would have been really funny if she got on the bus and it drove away and you were just left at the bus stop with all her packages. Bad hair day. See what you do? <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping I could use the toothbrush. Can you put this in places that the game probably hasn't coded yet? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How is this a failure? It's not like I have an entire audience watching me try to comb my hair. Remember, men, if you lose your towel, when you attempt to open up the drawer, that means that your date is screwed. If I programmed this game, I would have had like a box of Viagra in here and then you take the Viagra and the towel stays up. How about the second drawer? What the hell is this? Is this a razor? Can I, do you shave your ass? <gasps> Clearly, this is gel. The reason why I know this is because some artist has taken the time to MS paint the word gel on. In case any women are watching this, this is real. In a man's world, the reason why we get ready so fast is because if we don't, our clothing spontaneously tries to leave our body. You ever had a man show up for a date with no pants on? It's not our fault. This is what happens. Okay. Gel on the hair. Comb it. Clearly, the razor is just a red herring. All right. We've managed to get this far. Welcome to the engagement. Can you break her fingers? <sighs> this game has now taught me that every instance of being engaged must be completed within 10 seconds. I shouldn't even say that. It's the guy that gave up, not the girl. What happens if I put the ring like over here? <laughs> Don't test me, game. Really? <laughs> Even the game's like, are you trying to do this shit on purpose? Yes, it's what we do here. I want to get to the bomb defusement after all. I like how even the game is like, you want to stay monetized? I think because I failed so many times, I get hints. I need to know what the hints for this is. Hint number one, the finger closest to the pinky finger. And it's also one finger away from the index finger. No, really, Mr. Hint. It's one finger away from the index finger, huh? Do you know what one finger away from the index finger is? It's the goddamn middle finger. The run-in. At, uh, I don't know. Oh, what is this? Like the ex-girlfriend and the, the new girlfriend? My God, she's not wearing pants either. I never realized that this happens to women as well as men. I'm assuming you undo this. Jump in the, j no, stop. Get inside of the trash can. Maybe you have to put the woman inside of the trash can. That would make sense. What happened? What the hell happened here? I went down a different alley and I got assaulted by a meth addict. What are the chances of this? You paid this guy off, didn't you, you bastard? I'm gonna try all the different routes. We'll go into the bar. Okay, 
I haven't been stabbed in the kidneys yet. Everything's doing just fine. That's right, thought. Keep walking. All right, never mind. That didn't work. Is that, is that a dog? What is this being over here? There's some sort of horrifying creature that's probably waiting to kill me. It is a dog. I feel like you can totally get inside of this garbage can. Was there kissing noises before? Because the kissing noises that are being made are awful. Gentleman 2. The Reckoning. <laughs> Screwed that up. You can tell this dude is like, what did I do wrong? And the girl will say nothing. It's not because you didn't do anything wrong. It's because you did nothing. So what happens if I just open the door for myself, but not her? Can I even do that? This girl's probably like, what is it about you that you hate to open doors? Listen, I have bad luck with glass, all right? I thought the second I grabbed the handle, the thing would shatter and slip my wrists open. That's right, if I died from this, it's your damn fault. Okay, we went from gentleman two to bomb squad. Where did this, what? Holy sh! I got like two seconds left. Cut the red one, cut the red one. <laughs> I like how preparatory this is for all of your different relationship problems that you may run into in life. I feel like I always have to check the drawer. It's locked. What is this pencil for? What are all these things for? The game's just putting more shit for me to click on because it knows I'll press it all and I'll screw up. Cut the black one. Do it, you schmuck. The white wire. Cut the white wire. The white one. Cut the white one. You know a stage is gonna be good when this is the imagery that is supposed to depict what you'll be doing. Why is the Atlantis version of Hulk Hogan marrying a fish girl? Dining out. That's what they did. Are we gonna eat seafood? That's sick. Oh, either that or the kelp. Let's go to the seafood restaurant. <laughs> Not cool. How was I supposed to know she wasn't a cannibal mermaid? I'm assuming if you're a man that can't make a decision, she will also get pissed off. Oh, hey, the angrier she gets, the more she looks like a woman. Maybe she should just stay that way. Okay, we can eat the seaweed. This level is called Perfect Urinal. <laughs> There's no such thing. There's already a puddle on the ground. Which one do you choose? You can, you're not supposed to choose either of these. You're not supposed to choose a urinal directly across from another man. I like how everyone's urine is blue. It's from all that blueberry G fuel. So, wait. can I just go to a different bathroom? Can I pull one of these? Oh, you can move the entire scene. Hold on, what happens if you do pick one right next to a person? <laughs> what the fuck? I like how you choose a urinal and Molesticles the Mighty over here is like, good choice. There, this game is truly teaching me what to do in every troubling facet of life. What is next? The nightmare. What is this, like your mother and your girlfriend and you can only save one of them? Is this a stick? What are you supposed to give it to the ship? <laughs> so what happens if you just save the girlfriend? I just got my neck broken by like a sardine that never skipped fin day. How about if I save the fish? Hold on. Okay, well, that actually worked. What else am I supposed to do? How many freaking sharks are there? This is bullshit. What the hell? <laughs> what is happening in this game? Why did my girlfriend end up WWE choke holding a freaking squid? Mom, take one for the team. Shh, shh, let this happen. Maybe I'm supposed to knock my girlfriend unconscious with this. Wait, it's a nightmare. Maybe I'm just supposed to wake up. Yes, it worked! This game really wants to teach you how to be a gentleman. <laughs> what do you do? Starts to rain. Your girlfriend's getting wet. That sounded really bad. From the- she's- she's getting wet from the rain that started pouring. Hold on, can I use the- can I use- yeah, here, hold on. You move away. All right, now- now put the umbrella up. Come on! Do it! Don't mind me. Just creeping up behind you. Oh. That was the most- agonizing placement in the history of a game that has been translated to mobile. There is no reason why this man should not be allowed to stalk directly behind this girl, like a panther hunting its prey, prepared to open the umbrella. The smirky bastard is like, we're just here to fuck with you, Gray. Toilet paper not included. <gasps> oh God. It's all right, we can use this. <laughs> can you legitimately use it? Do, do it. I like how my mother is like, why is there corn kernels all over your diploma? All right, how about the hat? Am I allowed to use the hat? Yes. Of course you can. I'm gonna use everything in this goddamn room. Why did it not work? My parents are totally fine with this. Is it because Count Dracula wants his hair cut back? How about if I just use the entire gown? This is fine, right? Tell me he can do it. Oh, he totally can. 
Why is he so distressed at this? Those gowns are hot as hell. You can tell this kid isn't from Florida. <laughs> if you flush the toilet too many times, it gets pissed off at you. Looks like you can knock on the wall. Will the people next to you throw you a roll of toilet paper over? Hey, bitch, help a brother out. Why is Jason here again? What the f- Come back! I've always wanted a mask made out of human skin! Jason! Okay, I think I know the plan. You gotta wait until he's like, you know, halfway through his first push. Then we'll start knocking because then he won't be able to run away. That's right, why don't you have a seat on the throne there, buddy? Alright, now we start. Yes! The perfect selfie. Okay. Oh, you gotta wait for the old woman in the background there. Oh, yeah. I like how we got photobombed by one single old lady eye. I'm the only one that's not happy with this. The girlfriend is fine. It's a goddamn clown that can Hold on, I want him in the picture. <laughs> See, the reason that this guy looks so unhappy is because the girlfriend is like, I'm having a great time. Meanwhile, the clown is whispering into this dude's ear and he's like, I know where you live. Yeah, dance, dance and jig your ass out to the right side of the screen. Wow. There is like a million things you have to deal with in this. No. Get out of here, lady. Go trip over your breasts. How many different things are there that can attack into the goddamn bird? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take a picture of me. That poor bird is like, no one ever sits there this long on that board. I've been waiting to do that forever. Meanwhile, grandma is still over here. She's like, you kids smell delicious. Piss off, fly. You want to know who designed this stage right here? It was Satan. Satan designed this stage because there's a split second when you must click the button. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Got it. Rose and Jack, finally my dream has come true. Let me throw you. You can actually throw her in the water? Hell no, I don't want her to sit there. Put her in the water. No, Jack, don't you let go. Don't let her win this. That's right, you cry. You did this. There was plenty of space for both of us, you bitch. Can I like throw her off? You can totally throw her off. Hold on, I just need to be a little bit quicker because I can't throw her off and put him on. You had this coming for years. Get out of here. Get on there, Jack. Come on. Yes! Finally! How is that not us being the man? Celine Dion would be proud. <laughs> Look at Jack, he's so happy. He's like, I've been waiting for years for my revenge. Okay, so I'm guessing you sit her over here, you sit him here, and look, everyone gets to live. This is how the Titanic should have ended. I'm gonna send this in. They can do a remastered version with this. This artwork right here. Well, I think I've learned how to be a man enough for one day. I'm gonna go fist the sky some more. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Be a Man. <laughs> Until next time, stay foxy. Much love.